Hi, this is Love from Tits and Giggles Podcast. I love using Anchor because it's easy to operate and I can just pick up the phone and speak my mind whenever I want. I can get, I love the podcast availability because I can get it out to multiple platforms at the same time without having to go. It automatically generates your RSS feed and you get it out to your listeners. And I love the background music and all the sound effects. Loving Anchor so much. You should try it for yours. This is Love Again with Tits and Giggles Podcast. What's up, tits and giggles? Let's talk about co-parenting. There is a little viral video of this lady. She was complaining because her, so the stepmother or whatever, bought her daughter a dress for prom. And it was a big deal, obviously, because it went totally viral. And it was like a whole thing. Like, everyone was, you know, she was very upset by this. And she felt like the stepmom has stepped on her toes. She has went out of her way to, I guess, step in the role of a mother um yeah so let's get into this topic co-parenting do we think it's trash I mean I that's harsh but I do think it's trash I I have not been successful at co-parenting I will definitely say that so I am no expert so let's go to the experts let's go to mendedfamilies.com and the first thing they say is spoiler alert there are many ways to co-parent So there's three types of co-parenting. There is parallel parenting, which is most common, occurring 50% of the time. Um, Two, conflicted co-parenting and cooperative co-parenting. So parallel parenting tend to have low conflict communication, be emotionally disengaged from another, and have little coordination of child rearing issues, which each parent operate in their own domain. Basically, each household operates independently, and there may or may not be consistency for the children between homes. If there it is, it's purely chance since the parents are not actively discussed in it. Then you have conflicted co-parenting. Sounds like what this lady has. And they say, you guessed it, characterized by frequent conflict as well as poor communication and failure of one or both partners to disengage emotionally or emotionally reactive. This style may be most harmful to children since research shows that it is the level of conflict in which family that contributes to negative outcomes for children and nor whether your family is inept. And then the holy grail of all co-parenting relationship is cooperative co-parenting, which is the most advantageous for children and is characterized by joint planning, coordination, and some flexibility. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't really know that many cooperative co-parents. And from what we see in Hollyweird, um, the people that act like they do, they end up getting divorced or something really crazy happens so I don't know I mean you see like these I've seen this like show where it's like where the exes are best friends and all this stuff mega weird but whatever I mean obviously it would be in the best interest of the child if you are that open-minded to raise your child that way I know for me I don't you know, I would say my first son was parallel parenting, like, you know, he provided financially, but I was pretty much the primary parent, which was fine. I actually prefer to be the primary parent because I don't have anybody like infringing on my parenting style or coming in and, you know, you know, a lot of these like sometime parents, they'll like show up with a gift, like, oh, I'm mother of the year, father of the year, and it's like they're not doing all the hard work of parenting. 
and all that but it looks like this lady in this whole viral video she is mad uh because i obviously her the the new wife is stepping on her toes i would really blame it on the husband because obviously there are some kind of like lines that have been blurred like clearly like you know i'm i'm remarried and my husband he has children i i and i was also a stepchild so i know what it's like to have a parent come in and just kind of run the show and i do not like that parenting style it's very overwhelming for the kids you know i know when my parents I didn't even know they were married. They just kind of, I just saw the male change with my mom's last name. And I was just like, it was not, I would not recommend that at all for anybody. But it really made me fearful of like what kind of step parent I would be. And, you know, we've all saw the stepmother and all that stuff. And I just, for me, I just know. I'm like, I mean, I, I support my husband, like if he needs advice on something but I kind of let him do his thing I am very out of the you know I stay out of it because I feel like one for me it depends on who his ex-spouse is if they're mature enough and a lot of these spouses these exes they pretend like they're okay with you moving on and like you being involved in their child's life but I have seen a lot of times where they feel some type of way if your child is getting close to you to them like they don't like it and so for me I just know I support my husband however I can but I know that a lot of people pretend or act like they're mature and then when it comes to like big things like obviously this dress this prom dress like it's like it's went viral because this lady's having a total meltdown about it like to where she's had to go to the internet about it which is kind of crazy I feel bad for her daughter but I don't know what do you guys think I mean I like I said when it comes to parenting parenting alone is already hard trying to co-parent with people in separate households is hard um if you've had divorce you know you barely get along with your ex let alone trying to raise children with them I am trying to even think if I've seen successful co-parenting in my real life and I would say eh, I've seen semi I've seen involved parents I'll say that but it does not it has not came without conflict at all because Clearly, if the marriage or the relationship broke up, they, you weren't already getting along. So, you know, it's sad and it's unfortunate, but it just is what it is. I personally, like I said, I try to, st- I try to stay far from anybody's issues with their children. Like, like I said, I, I support my spouse however I can, but I know that it can be a slippery slope if you get too involved and all that because clearly like I said this lady is completely having a whole meltdown about it but let's give you guys some tips to develop better co-parenting relationships according to mendedfamilies.com it says before you can improve your co-parenting relationship you need to determine which type of co-parent relationship you have which we've already said most people have this uh, conflict, conflicted co-parenting. And it said, and which type you want. Which type would you want? That's up to you. I would personally not like to be involved with my husband's ex, but maybe you want to have a new friend. I don't know. And then while cooperative co-parenting is the gold standard, oftentimes it is not possible or recommended for many reasons. Duh. Perhaps because one or more parent is not interested in or able to change how they interact or there is active substance abuse. Yes, Lord. I've dealt with that. Whatever your current style is, though, there is usually room for improvement. 
participating in therapy is one way which co-parents can work towards improving communication, lowering conflict, and developing healthier ways and means to interact in order to reduce the negative effects on their children. I will say therapists are very busy, so, you know, it could work but they stay pretty busy with everything else. If you have it in you to go to therapy with your ex and your new spouse to make a better thing, you know, for the kids, do it. But yeah, that's a lot. If you are currently separating or divorcing, then consider uncoupling therapy. Okay, even more therapy. Listen, therapy is great, but we are humans we can learn all the skills we need but i definitely feel like if you have an ex they're an ex for a reason they trigger things about you and then they bring in and i know your kids should be like the reason that you should be the bigger person but like i said i've been lucky in the fact that although I was a single parent. I have not had to have interference in my parenting. So it's been nice in that aspect. It's not hard. It's hard being a single parent, but I would rather, you know, my my husband always tells me like, you're so lucky because you have nobody interfering in your parenting. And I'm like, I do. I am actually. So all you single parents out there, be a little happier. If you are currently separating, divorcing, then consider uncoupling therapy so you can process and address co-parenting and other issues that occur when marriages or committed relationships dissolve and set the stage for a more cooperative co parent relationship for the kids. So that is what they said. Um, what do you guys think? I mean, it is not easy it's not easy parenting with your ex it's not easy you know if your ex is one of those serial daters that have like a new woman every month I mean how would you even deal with that like these are all the things I've never had to do it which is great I know that my first son's dad remarried and my son went to visit his wife and him and you know they're not together anymore but you know I didn't have a problem with that my son you know he didn't he wasn't too keen on it because he didn't know this lady from a can of paint but I trusted his dad you know to have him there and I mean for the most part I mean my son came back in one piece now did he ever want to go again no and you know my my ex like we kind of you know went through that and and that is a hard thing you know especially we were in the military so it's hard to do visitation when you have a military spouse on top of that and then my son was so young and he was having to get on planes and it was just a lot so you know their their our co-parenting wasn't tumultuous but it was just hard with him being a military spouse and all that and then my second son's dad you know that's a whole nother podcast but he definitely had a substance abuse issue and I would not at all send my son anywhere with him not even down the street you know I always I I had let my son see him before you know but you know I asked my son now I would never keep my son from his father like if he said you know, I want to see my dad, 100% I let him, but, you know, he just has never shown interest, I mean, I I had let him see him before, and he just, he he would always say, oh, and I'm 18, or whatever, and now he's 18, and he doesn't ask, so, you know, um, I try to touch base with both my sons, I mean, it is, um, don't get me wrong, it, it does suck a little bit that, you know, everybody wants their their child to have their father or their mother in their life. I'll never come off and be like, oh, you know, I did it all alone and they were fine. No, I know that there's a void. I mean, they, you know, it happens. And um, if I could change that or rewrite that, I completely would. But on the same token, with the two different scenarios, having one a military 
ex and the one substance abuse ex I would still you know do everything the same as far as co-parenting goes I think you know I've I did all I could as a mother and so that's where I sit on that but I did not have to like I said endure co-parenting woes because you know my last son's father he stayed in prison most of the time so we didn't really have to worry about seeing him you know TMI but it's the truth so you know I didn't have to deal with all that co-parenting mishigas but I know that my husband he deals with some stuff and a little bit of conversation for him but I as his new wife support him in any way I can um you know it is not easy uh, taking on somebody that has children, uh, let alone, you know, being, you know, having your kid around somebody else. I mean, I, I can see both sides. I can see where in this lady, this viral lady story where the new wife is trying to just do a good thing. And then you got this lady probably react overreacting on every little thing you do because I'm still going to say she's an overreactor because why are you going to the internet to complain about this? But I don't know. People do what they do these days. But it is not easy to co-parent. I would say if you, if your husband or wife, ex, is not a serial dater, having a new man or woman around your child every month, which I am not at all a fan of, and I know a lot of people do that, If the person's actually really trying, I mean, yeah, go to counseling, see what makes, you know, it better for you. But, you know, it's going to be hard. It's hard enough splitting up and then trying to co-parent and then bringing another person in the mix. So good luck to all you co-parenters out there. I believe in you you know try to make it work for the better of the children sometimes talk to your children they can tell you what they feel most comfortable with I know I was smart enough to tell my mom what I didn't and didn't like now did she take my advice no (laughs) but she did listen sometimes so that is my two cents um let me know what you guys think about co-parenting lack thereof is you know what do you think That's it for Tits and Giggles. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Signing off.